Option trading is so complicated, so confusing. Yeah. Well, since I'm a designer, I really want to use my design skills, design thinking to tackle this very interesting problem, to introduce, to explain option trading in the simplest way possible. So in this video, I want to cover the very essentials of buying call options, what it is, how it works, and show you some examples of how to do it on Robinhood. Music, let's go. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. Looking at that option trading two by two matrix, buy, sell, call, put, it's quite confusing, isn't it? I watched a ton of YouTube videos. There are just so many graphs, so mathematical. They are either super long or don't really help beginners understand what options are, or maybe long and useless at the same time. So my designer smile turns on, there has got to be a better way. Without further ado, let's dive right into buying call options. So this is essentially what buy call is. One call option is an opportunity to buy a share of a particular stock at a specific price, which we call this a strike price, before a specific date, the expiration date. It might already sound a little bit confusing or complicated, I know, because there are three things, stock, price and date all baked into this option concept but no worries it's going to make sense very soon buy a call buy a call you will hear that from news article or any finance channel pretty often what it means is that you are buying one call option contract okay it's a contract so this is what a contract what a call contract might look like right it has defined the number of options which is 100 so one thing to note is that in options, all options trade in a block or unit of 100. So if you buy one call, you're buying one contract which has 100 options. If you buy two calls, two contract, 200 options. Very easy, simple math there, right? So you also define the stock, what the stock is, what the strike price is, is 120, what the expiration date is. By having this contract, buying this contract, buying this call option contract, you could buy 100 shares of Apple, right, Apple, at $120 per share, right, strike price, before the expiration date. So this is what you can do with this call option. Before this date, you can do this thing. So by buying this call option, you're probably thinking Apple is gonna go up, go above at least 120, the strike price. Because if Apple actually is going to go above 120 to let's say 150, the market price is 150, then you can use this contract, you can exercise this contract to buy 100 shares of Apple at 120 instead of the market price 150. Then you can sell them right away to profit the difference. Since you're buying the call option, that means you are the buyer. If you are the buyer, that means somebody's gonna be a seller. So for the seller to sell you or write you this call option contract, the seller needs to have 100 shares of Apple. So if you want to exercise, if you want to use this contract to buy 100 shares of Apple at this price, where are the 100 shares coming from? It's coming from the seller, okay? So if you buy the contract, what would the seller get? The seller would get the 160, right? You pay 160 to the seller, you get a contract. It's a fair deal. That's how the exchange works behind the scene. I'm not going too detail into the seller side because that's a video for another time. So now let's take a look at an example on Robinhood. So this is the Robinhood web um, platform. There's a tray Apple options button here. So you can click into that. You will see a view that has what we talked about, right? Buy, call, strike price, expire. And then you can see, you can pick this one, you can buy it, click, and then continue. One contract. Well, it costs you $61, okay? So I've taken a screenshot earlier, which is almost the same thing as what we just saw. And you can see how this call option contract will match the information on the Robinhood UI, right? You can see the strike price, 120. Okay, it's 120 strike price. Expiration date is October 30th, October 30th, which is typically a Friday. And then the contract price will be 160. You see 1.6 here, it was because this is the price for one option. And if you remember, options trade in a block of 100. So you have to multiply this number by 100, which you will get 160. That will be the amount that will cost you if you want to buy a 120 Apple call, 
okay so you can also see the share price right now is $115.08 right here okay so let's take a look at the relationship between the stock price and the contract price so generally speaking the underlying stock price goes up the call option contract price will also go up if the stock price goes down the call option contract price will go down right it's a very simple very linear correlation between the stock price and the option contract price okay so if the apple stock price it goes up from 115.08 to 125.08 that means the same contract the 120 call contract is no longer 160 it will be something else 260 360 460 okay so how do you make money from this there are two ways actually so one is you buy 100 shares which means you just exercise this call contract you use this contract to buy 100 shares at this low price and then you can sell them at the higher market price and profit the difference there's actually a second way the second way is to sell the call option contract to somebody else because if the stock price goes up the call option contract price will, go, will also go up you can profit the difference from there what I find funny is that I have not seen the video explaining that you can sell this call option after you bought it I don't know why I had to stumble on it on my own I think it's a pretty important thing to know especially for beginners so it's necessary to include it in this video exercise the option is not the only way to make money uh, from buy call there's a second way you can sell the call option contract now let's take a look at the bull case which means the apple stock price goes up so on monday you purchase this apple 120 call right 120 call costs you 160 dollars so the market price is 115 dollars and eight cents so let's say on wednesday apple is having a great run it goes all the way up to 125 dollars what you can do is you can exercise this apple 120 call because you bought the contract you can use it you can exercise it so you exercise it you buy 100 shares at 120 which is defined the contract it's the strike price and then you can sell these 100 shares right away at the market price 125 and you profit the difference so your net profit will be the 500 that you gain from that minus the 160 dollars you pay for the option contract in the first place so your net profit will be 340 okay well of course the second way as we talked about if the stock price goes up the call option contract price will also go up right so on wednesday when the apple stock price actually goes up to 125 the contract price the call contract price the same call contract exact same one the one you're holding it could maybe go up to 860 which is, which is amazing right so what could happen is if you go back to robin hood what you will see is 8.6 instead of 1.6 because the price goes up you will, you will reflect that in the ui so in this case you would profit 700 dollars right you buy at 160 you sell at 860 you profit 700 dollars there's actually some advantages to just selling the call contract to somebody else rather than exercising one being that you don't need that much money to begin with because if you exercise you need to spend 12k to buy 100 shares of apple versus in this scenario all you need is 160 to buy the contract and then you can sell the contract of course assuming you're betting the right direction the second thing is by exercising you have to buy the contract exercise and sell the shares versus if you just sell the call you would just buy a call sell a call one last thing to do it's simpler and i like simplicity so i prefer this way personally so now let's take a look at what will happen to that apple call option contract if the apple stock price drops throughout the week the bear case so let's say you still buy the same apple 120 call on monday back then the apple stock price is 115.08 on wednesday hmm, it drops to 110 not a great week and on friday even worse it drops to 105 so what will happen what can you do well you can exercise it even though it does not make any sense to do this it doesn't make any sense because you can buy apple shares at 105 the market price then why would you want to use your apple call option contract to buy at 120 you have it doesn't mean you have to use it okay you can still do it if you really want to have this massive loss if you remember if the stock price falls the option contract price will go down along with it in this example if apple stock price is below the strike price at expiration which it is right it's 105 is below the strike price 120 the contract price will go to zero okay 
So you can see this example, this illustration here. On Wednesday, since Apple stock price drops, the call option contract price will also drop. It might drop from $160 to $20 only. Because Friday, it's $105. 105 is below $120. What will happen if it's below the strike price $120? The contract price goes to zero. So the contract price on Friday will go to zero. And if you look at Robinhood, this is what it will look like. It's 105, that's the current market price. It might have one cent value. And everything else above it is going to be zero, including the 120 that you have is going to be zero. So you would rather just do nothing, let your call option contract expire worthless. Your total loss will be just 160, the amount that you pay for the contract initially on Monday. There might be another thing, you can sell the call to somebody else on Wednesday because you might think this week is going to be a bad week for Apple because on Wednesday, it already drops to 110, it might tank further. Then on Wednesday, you can make up your mind to say, okay, I'm gonna cut losses, I'm gonna sell the co-option contract, just get this remaining $20. So my net loss is going to be 140 instead of 160. So for buying calls, you're really betting on the uptrend momentum because if it's trending down, you're gonna lose money no matter what, like this example. All right, guys, we have covered the fundamentals and two practical examples. One when the underlying stocks goes up and one for when it goes down. Buying call options is not that complicated overall, isn't it? Do you understand what it is now and how to use it? Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are. If you have learned what you wanted, congratulations and hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, also consider smashing the subscribe button. This will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers!